Hello there. Did you know your story, your expertise, and your business message are already intricately woven together like a rich and vibrant tapestry? My name is Sigrid Cast. Hello and welcome. I believe that every woman in business has a valuable story to tell and that sharing that story through a book can elevate your leadership, your authority, and make a huge positive impact in the world. And I help you write that book. So in this video, I'm going to share with you why to write your book in a rich and rewarding way, just like so many famous tapestries. Let's start by talking about briefly what a tapestry is. It is a picture that tells a story, just like you can use a book where words create pictures for the reader as they tell your story. Tapestries have been created for centuries and they give beautiful legacy and heritage of many events and certain long told stories. And a tapestry is created by weaving colored threads through plain ones. So it is strand by strand to create a picture. Usually you'll be using wool or silk and the weaver builds up blocks of color in a specific order to create patterns and images so that your overall picture turns out at the end of it, just like you would be using words in a book. So I want you to think about writing your book in a way that the paragraphs within the chapters of your book that build a connection from your personal story and your business vision and message so that it all layers, connects, and strand by strand is there for the reader to get a beautiful picture. Now, tapestry making is a complex technique that allows the maker to create tapestries that really illustrate very colorful scenes. And that is what you want to do with your words in your book. Famous tapestries from history retold stories from the Bible, for example, or myth mythology. Um, some have depicted scenes from significant real life events, as I already said. Imagine now using the weaver's technique to write your book. Each thread represents a unique insight, a valuable lesson, and a piece of your journey through your life, your business that has power to inspire and captivate others. It shares your already long time experiences and lets the reader know that you are an expert and an authority on the topic you're writing about. And just like wanting to create a beautiful tapestry, you need to start writing your book with a clear outcome in mind. Now think about it. What sort of a tapestry are we going to use? Is it going to be a wall hanging? Is it going to be something that is for a table? Each has its own purpose. So the outcome that you choose points you with your book to the topic that you need to write about, just like planning the tapestry, what it is going to be for, what purpose it serves, what outcome is to be achieved. 
the book topic now, once you've got that, the book topic directs you to who your reader would need to be. And then when you know who the reader needs to be, that actually offers you the clue to what your book title needs to be. And you see that's already weaving or interconnecting, if you prefer that word. It is really connected and layered one with the other. It gives you clarity, it gives you direction. And within that, it also gives you roughly a time frame, how long it is going to write, going to take you to write your book, for example. And this process, this way of writing that I'm describing here to you and that I'm aligning with creating a tapestry, that is exactly what my marketing optimized book writing framework offers to write your book in such a way. Because together we plan what it looks like for you when you embark on the writing journey for you specifically. Each person has a different angle on your expertise. Even if it sounds like it might be the same or similar, there are very clear differences between you coaching executives or leaders to another coaching executives or leaders. There are differences and your book can bring that out just like the tapestry can bring out exactly the right story and colors. And in the book writing framework that I offer, while you start your writing, we then map out your marketing. Because you see, the writing is just the part, the first part of weaving your book. The publishing and marketing, and they all go hand in hand. They make it a success all together. They make it a success. Now, that brings me back to the weaving of a tapestry. To weave, you need yarn. And there the question arises, what type of yarn? Depends on what type of a tapestry you want to create. And then you need various colors to create the picture. So you need to plan what is the picture? What colors do I need for that picture? Now that makes sense. I'm sure it makes perfect sense to you. And interestingly, that is exactly how we look at your book. Once you know what the topic needs to be and who you are writing the book for, you know, who is going to read it, who it is for, how are you going to reach them? What marketing strategy do you need and what type of marketing methods do you need to employ to reach the reader? Sure, social media might jump to mind, but which social media platform, for example, and in what format do you need to promote your book? And that will depend on who the reader is going to be and what the topic of your book is and what you want to achieve with your book. Again, we are interconnecting, layering, creating a tapestry. This is all part of your work to think and write your book like a tapestry, interconnecting all the parts of it. Those are, coming back to the tapestry analogy, those are all the threads and the colors that you need which platform, you know, what type of marketing, where you're going to promote it, how are you going to promote it, and so on. They are the colors and the threads that make up the richness of your marketing. And that richness, that marketing, determines the success of your book. It's as simple as that. Now, what else do you need? For your tapestry or for a tapestry of course to create that you need a loom but here's the thing again you need to plan what does it need to be a big one a small one it depends on what you want to create so planning is key which is the key that my framework offers 
planning before you start writing. Now for your book, it means also publishing. Your loom, how and where are you going to publish? What do you need for publishing, for the publishing process? And how and where do you want people to be able to get your book? You need to know that before you write, because that becomes part of the marketing journey, the path that you create to get easy access, for people to get really easy access to your book. That is really how I see writing a book. It's like weaving a tapestry. Like I said before, all these parts are connected, interconnected, layered. They all go together. Instead of looking at each part of your book, the creation, the publishing, and only last, the marketing, you are unlayering. You are missing parts. You are not planning for what it's going to look like at the end when you start. And that's really a key concept and a key part to know. I look at writing a book very much similar to weaving a tapestry. That's why I'm using this anal analogy today to share that with you. You see, when you have a story, a vision, a message that you want to share in a book, you do also want it to be colorful, meaningful, and of course, accessible. So the publishing must make it accessible to people anywhere in the world in the currency they wish to pay in. And that is exactly what I help clients achieve with my book writing framework. To create a book that's like a rich tapestry that shares your story, your message, your vision, elevates your leadership positioning and gives you that authority status instantly with the publishing of that book. Now, if that is something that interests you, simply contact me. Let's have a talk about the vision that you have for your book and what you want to achieve to elevate who you are and the message that you have. And that is my message for you today with this video. Secret Cast.